hello you're yeah, welcome to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to use the customer journey in mailchimp for your email automation and to show you that i'm going to be using this as an example so as you can see on my screen right here you can see this is a customer journey that i've already pre-built so i'm going to be showing you how you can build something like this for your business but what you just need to know is that you just need to understand how it works because because customer journey actually differs based on what you want to achieve and this customer journey that you can see on my screen right here i actually built it for a client i shared a video earlier which i used to explain what this customer journey does and how it works so but in this video i'm going to be creating this customer journey again from the scratch showing you everything and how you can use it to build whatever you want for yourself so without further ado let's get started so right here this is my mailchimp account and what you need to know is that before you can use the customer journey you need to be on a standard plan before you can use the customer journey that's the reason why you can see this notification right here where you can see it's telling me to upgrade to a standard account but i'm just using this as a tutorial for you so i can only create the workflow but i'll not be able to activate it because my account is not a standard account but i'm just creating this for you to see how it works so so to create a customer journey all you need to do is just to come down right here you can see automation anywhere you are in your mailchimp account all you just need to do is just to locate automations then click on automation so then right here you can see create journey so i'll create a journey but if you have created some other journeys you can see them right here at the bottom here so you can see it right here or you can decide to click this view my journeys to see all the journeys that you have created or all the journeys that has been created for you depends so to create a journey as you, i will just click here to create a journey so the name you give it a name you give it whatever name so let me just call it any name then after you give it a name then then click on start building so to build you can see right here it said choose a starting point what this choose a starting point means is that what should happen before anybody enters into this workflow can it be should it be when they buy something on your website should it be when they subscribe on your website should it be when they download something on your website or should it be whenever they view a product should it be whenever it depends there are so many things or should it be whenever they are tagged for something there are so many things that can happen that can make them enter into this workflow so you need to choose you need to know what exactly should make them enter into this workflow so like this workflow that i created earlier is actually this workflow is actually for a client that wanted an abandoned cart automation so but this there's actually a lot of things around it so I what I use tag to achieve this. So you can see right here, the first thing first is that whenever the contact is tagged a free user, let me zoom it for you to see. Let me zoom it. So you can see right here, whenever a contact is tagged free user, that is when they enter into this workflow. For if you want to really understand why how this workflow works, you can just watch the previous video. I'm going to put it in the info card so you can check it there. So you can check it there to see a detailed explanation on how it is so whenever they attack free user that is when they get into this workflow so all i just need to do because i've created the tag before so i just need to come come here then choose a starting point i'll click there so you can see there are so many things that can be a starting point it can be when it's tagged you can see it can be whenever they sign up whenever they sign up whenever they are sent an email whenever if it is a bed if it's if it's on their birthday there are so many things that can happen here. It means that it can be whenever they buy a specific product, but I, I, I didn't connect this website to any store. That is why I can That is the reason why this option is not available for me. And you can see that it's telling me to connect, which I can do later. But maybe that will be in a, in a future video. So for this one, I'm going to be using tag. Whenever they are tag, whenever a tag is added, so I'm just going to click on this. So as then I need to choose the tag. So you can see the tag which is what free user so i'll just click on this so then i'll click on save starting points you can also decide to add more options to it so you can just click here to if you want to add another mode of entry maybe if they are tagged free user and that is or maybe if they buy something on your website or may, it depends i hope you get what i'm trying to say so then i'll come back i come here again so you can see right here the next thing is 
whenever a contact is tagged this so this tag means that whenever they initiate payment so this is actually a wait condition so to add this wait condition i will come here again then i'll just click on this so you can see this is a wait for trigger it means that first of all they enter into this workflow and they are tagged free user then after they are after they're into the workflow this wait for trigger is the next thing it's going to wait till they are tagged learn fluids in 15 weeks payment initiated then you can see wait for now it now depends on how many hours you want or days or weeks before they can proceed depends on what you want so i'm just going to say this for one hour so it means that whenever they enter into the workflow they are going to wait until they are tagged this before they can proceed or after one hour they move on so i'll click on save so you can see the next one is already added so this is the wait condition so these are all these are the rules you need to take note of this these are the rules for for them to proceed and these are the action like whenever whenever a whenever an objective is met what should happen should they get an email should they be grouped should they be tagged should they be unsubscribed and so on like that so you can see all this so you just need to this is very very easy and interesting so the rules and the action just need to take note of both of them looking at the workflow again so you can see if i scroll down you can see this is a if and else condition so it means that after the after they proceed this if and else condition is now going to check if they are tagged then they move to the yes part but if they are not tagged they move to the no part so you can remember that i said after one hour when they are not tagged then it means that they move to this part so that is what is going to happen so after one hour if, if nothing happens then they move here if they are actually tagged this which means and actually all this happens based on whatever is going on on the person's website so then they move to this part so that is the importance of this condition right here so now then this is a condition so you can see the if and else condition i click on this then i'll click here at the journey point sorry i'll click on add the journey point then if and else so now what should happen you can see the contact will join the yes point the yes path if they meet your condition so what should happen so i want them i want it to happen that whenever they are tagged whenever the person is tagged whenever the contact is tagged as payment as left fluid in 15 minutes payment initiated that is when they should join the yes part then i'll click on save so you can see gradually our workflow is building up so then this is the yes part this is the no part so what should happen when they get to this part what should happen when they get to this part so let us focus on the yes part first then after that we'll move to the no part i hope you get what i'm trying to explain and if you have any questions so far please give it please write please put it down in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe thank you for that so you can see right here when they when they are tagged this the, the yes part means that they create an email so I, all i just need to do is just to come here so you can see i'll click on this plus button here add a journey point yes what should happen action what action should take place it means that they should get an email so i'm going to send them an email so i can so right here you create the subject you click on edit to create the subject you you can schedule it when she when the message when the email should send maybe you should, the email should send maybe like at eight o'clock a.m or at ten o'clock a.m or whatever time you want so depending on how your business works so they can create a template and everything i'm still going to create a video later on how you can create email templates so i'll just close this for now so this is the part for creating an email so that's it then the next one you can see after they create after they get an email you can see there's a delay before another condition the importance of this delay is so that everything will not just happen like almost instantly so this workflow is actually a step-by-step -step process so you need to prepare it well because if you don't prepare it well it's going to the, the people that are actually going to receive the email will not be happy with you just imagine getting like about five emails five different emails that they're supposed to get maybe like about 10 days in less than a half you know it's not going to make sense so that's the purpose of this delay right here so this delay after so it's going to wait for one day so after this one day then this is going to be another condition 
before they get the second email because if i do not put this this delay it means that after they get this email the next thing that happen is happen is it gets to this condition they send them this email again right away which is not going to make sense so after they get this first email you can see the one day delay so i just need to come here then i'll just need to add this plus button then i'll click on the time delay so you can see one so this is hard days week so i'll just click on days then i'll click on save so after one day that is when the next step is going to happen which is another condition so then you can see right here the condition says that if the tag is not if the contact is not tagged free user i explained this in the last video i don't really want to go into explaining this again so i just want to i just want to focus on creating this workflow for you to see how it is done and how you can also create and um and and do something like this for yourself or for your business or for your clients so then you can just click on this plus button so um that is an if and else condition so you can see if and else here so i'll click on this as usual you can see campaign activity i'll click this search for tags so this is tags right here if contact is not tagged as free user then what should happen it means that they go to the yes part right yes so they go to the yes part means which means that if contact is not tagged free user according to the explanation it means that the person has already bought the course of this client so they go to, they go to the yes part but if not they go to the no part which means that they are going to get another email to remind them for whatever product that they did not buy the other time so you can see right here so this is an email they get an email with the no part so send them an email i will not want to go through all this uh, creating the email so i'll just click on close then then what happens next again so it's wait for two days again then another condition then create an email i don't want to make this video too long what ex what exactly i did right here is also the same thing i just need to put the condition for two days then this then the condition again i mean sorry i just need to put a delay for two days then the condition if they are not tagged free user then they get an email that is just it so now let's go to the no part in the earlier part of the workflow so you can see so you can see this condition right here we just finished dealing with the yes, the yes part so now let us move to the no part moving right here after this condition it now checks again if the contact is not tagged free user because based on the way i created this workflow it is possible that within that one hour the person might actually initiate payment and also buy the course that the person is selling so it's possible that a person might fall into this part and if the person falls into this part it's not going to make sense for them to start receiving another email telling them reminding them to buy so they need to exit this workflow so that is what is going to that's the purpose of this condition right here so this condition here as usual the if and else statement so i'll just come here then i'll put the if and else condition right here so you can see at the journey point so you can see if and else i'll just click on this then as usual i'll select tags or i'll select the condition depending on whatever you want to do so this is tags if contact is not tagged as free user then what should happen then they exit the workflow that is what is going to happen right here right here but if the con if the contact is still tagged as free user because actually what happens is that whenever the person buys a course mailchimp is automatically going to remove the tag as free user from the person so this workflow is going to be checking from time to time if the person is tagged as a free user or not so i hope this makes sense now so if person is tagged as free user the person leaves which means that person has bought the course but if person is not tagged which what happens now they get an email which is going to remind them so this is going to be the email right here so you can see they get an email i'll just come here i'll just click here create an email so they send they get an email so this email you, you create the email as usual so i'll just click on close so this is the email section here then you click on plus again so you can see the next one is going to be another condition to check 
So, but before the condition is going to wait again for one day. After one day, because after they get the email, the, the, it's possible they might go back to the website to buy the code. But if they get the website, the message, and they do not still buy, after one day, it's going to check again if they are tagged free user or not. So then they get the second one and the next one and the next one. So that is just it. I don't. I, I want to believe you already understand how to build a customer journey. So all you just need to know is all you just need to know is whatever whenever you want to do something. Just need to know that it deals with the rules and the action so you just need to follow all this so this if and else whenever there's two, whenever there's a condition this 50 50 split it means that it's possible that maybe you want to send a particular kind of or you want to send two different emails to different people maybe if, the, if this one deals with more with you want to test they wait for a trigger it means that you, you want something to happen before they move on into the workflow and time delay as expected you you want to delay something before they move into the workflow so that is just how it is then these actions all these ones already explained themselves so this customer journey actually is very self-explanatory and very very interesting to use but at the same time it's possible that you might also have one or two issues so if you have any issues you, you don't hesitate to send me a message on fiverr um ready and always available to work with you and help you fix your customer journey and please also don't forget to subscribe to this channel like the video and also give a comment and if you have any question please let me put it down in the comment box below i'm going to answer to all your questions so thank you very much for watching and i'm going to see you in another tutorial video thank you